Hello friends, today I am going to teach you about standard deviation and its coefficient. If the class is 0 to 10, 0 to 20, 0 to 30, 0 to 40, 0 to 50. If the class will be given in the range of 0 to 10, 0 to 20, 0 to 30 and the frequency is given 4, 7, 14, 16, 22, then how can we solve this type of standard deviation? So now, Let's write solution and make it make the table class frequency. Okay, so if the class is given like 0 to 10, 0 to 20, then we gonna arrange this class like 0 to 10 and 10 to 20, 20 to 30. 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 so I wanna say that like if the class is given 0 to 20 0 to 40 0 to 60 then we can write 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 in this matter okay if the class is given like 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30, 30 to 40, then we can write here 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, same like that, no change, okay? If the value is like 0 to 10, 0 to 20, then we can arrange this 0 to 10, 10 to 20, okay? In a continuous interval. Now, frequency is given is 4, so we can write here f is 4, okay? Now, 7 minus 4 is 3 okay 14 minus 7 is 7 16 minus 14 is 2 22 minus 16 is 6 so the frequency will be given like this okay if the class interval is given in 0 to 10 0 to 20 0 to 30 0 to 40 in this type of class is given then frequency must be arrange like this like 4 7 minus 4 3 14 minus 7 7 16 minus 14 2 22 minus 16 6 now we can we can write here mid value so mid value is denoted by x what is the mid value mid value is 0 10 the mid value of 10 and 0 is 5 10 and 20 is 15 20 to 30 is the mid value of 20 to 30 is 25 the mid value of 30 to 40 is 35 the mid value of 40 to 50 is 45 or you can calculate the mid value 0 plus 10 by 2 5 10 plus 20 by 2 is equal to 15 20 plus 30 like 20 plus 30 equal to divided to 25 okay 30 plus 40 divided to 35 40 plus 50 divided to 45 you can calculate like that mid value now I'm going to calculate f x and then I'm going to calculate after this, I am going to calculate fx square and then we can sum all of these value. Okay, so table is completed. Now, I am going to multiply 4 into 5, 20, 3 into 15, 45, 25 into 7, how much? You can see here 175, also 35 into 2, 70, 45 into 6, you can check here 270. Now, summation of fx is equal to 20 plus 45 plus 175 plus 70 plus 270 is equal to 580 so sigma fx is 580 
now fx square is calculated f is 4 into x is 5 5 a square 100 f is 3 into x is 15 a square calculated 675 similarly 7 into 25 a square is 4375 Again, 2 into 35 square, 2450. Again, 6 into 45 square, we will get 12150. Now, summation fx square is equal to, we are going to add 100 plus 675 plus 4375 plus 2450 plus 12150 is equal to we get 9750 19750 okay you can see here now I'm going to use the formula of a standard deviation so the formula of a standard deviation ST is equal to root under sigma fx square by n minus sigma fx by n whole square. So we can calculate n. n is sigma f, the summation of f. So how can we calculate here? We can add 4 plus 3 plus 7 plus 2 plus 6. 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 7 plus 2 plus 6. So we get n equal to 22. Now all the value. Now I am going to put the value of fx square which is 19750 by n is 22 minus sigma fx the value of sigma fx is 580 by n n is 22 you can check there sigma fx square which is 19750 we put here and n is 22 we put here minus sigma fx sigma fx is 580 580 by 22 whole square so we are going to divide 19750 divide 22 we get 897.72 minus we are going to divide 580 square by 22 square we get 695.04 so I am going to Subtract 897.72 minus 695.04. We will get 202.68 and root 202.68. We will get the answer 14.2323, which is the answer. You can check the answer here now. It's coefficient, so coefficient of standard deviation is equal to standard deviation by mean is equal to 14.23. Here is here the value of standard deviation 14.23 and mean is what is mean? The formula of mean is sigma fx by n. So, coefficient of SD is equal to 14.23 by sigma fx. How much the value of sigma fx? Sigma fx is 580. So, we can calculate here 580 by 22. So, 
फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू थ्री डिवाइडेड फाइव एट्टी बाई ट्वेंटी टू फाइव एट्टी ओके फाइव एट्टी डिवाइडेड ट्वेंटी टू वी गेट ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स सो कॉफिशेंट ऑफ एच डी इज कॉफिशेंट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डिविशन इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव थ्री नाइन सो वी कैन राइट हियर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर answer okay this type of question we will be asked in your examination we can calculate a standard deviation and coefficient of a standard deviation like this okay this is the part 2 video if you want to do part 1 then you will be see in your description link if you do not like to study mathematics then see my other channel arya strategy you will you will be motivated by my video you can go and check the link in your description box and if you like this video if you understand this video if you understand this question then please like comment and share this video to your friends to know more please subscribe the channel thank you